So you have a new album, The Great American Highway. You seem like a younger person. Why did you go in this classic sound? I uh, I grew up listening to this kind of music with my dad. I mean, I have a ton of memories listening to Hank Williams and all kinds of other country music in the truck with my dad as a kid. And um, yeah, it's just stuff I really loved for a long time. And I like the storytelling aspect of it. And I was into I was into punk rock for a lot in my teenage years and then kind of eased my way back into folk and country after that. I, mean, I still love like social distortion and bad religion and Pennywise and uh, a lot of Southern California punk stuff. The Great American Highway, where is that? Where does that exist to you? It's a, I guess you could say it's the entire country. Um, there's there's a lot of areas that kind of uh, that I think of when I'm thinking about it, but it's because of what I'm familiar with. I mean, I'm, I'm familiar a lot with just basically the whole I-75 run uh, from here up to, to Michigan. Uh, real quick story, I was born in Michigan and I moved to Georgia when my parents split up when I was about, I was a, I want to say I was 12 or 13 at the time, and my, my parents split up and I moved down to Georgia with my dad because he moved down down for work. Um, so that, that whole, that like I-75 corridor is what I'm super familiar with. Um, but I've kind of been in the last few years expanding around that too, um, and getting out to other areas I hadn't been to before either for shows, um, or going to see friends or like doing stuff. Like, I do a lot of, uh, fossil hunting and gem and mineral hunting and that kind of thing. So I'm out doing that for, for work a lot. I do, I make YouTube videos about that kind of stuff and that's, that's a big, uh, a big bill payer for me at, at this moment in time, which is great. <laughs> Wrong note again. Start your engine about seven o'clock in the morning when you're looking down that highway with thoughts you gotta get to sort and getting ready for a drive, thinking of the who's, the ways, and the why's, and why the ways of the world end in so much suffering. So I headed out of Gainesville, I took a pit stop up in Waynesville. Someone asked for a dollar, gave him five. And I was looking at all the people, all their good and all their evil. Just none of us gonna make it out of this world alive. So I busted out of that town, back down the Great American Highway, maybe looking for a place that I could call my home. And when I looked at all the trees and all the mountains and the streams I wonder how the hell could anyone ever feel alone Yeah, well, then I got to thinking, you know, home ain't some kind of place It's a feel-good feeling you get down in your bones Well, you can find it in a lover, in the winter or the summer or You can find it out here on the open road Yeah, then my car got to shaking from all the miles that I was making And it caught on fire, so I rolled it down a hill And then I rolled my eyes and laughed at all the good times I've had And that piece of shit car I wouldn't even steal So I stuck my thumb up in the wind and Some trucker picked me up and he said, son, I'll help you find a place to stay Well, I said, sir, you're sure a blessing when he asked where I was headed, I said, buddy, we're all just heading to the grave. The 
the song I'll Never Hang Up My Hat. What is that about? It kind of came in, in at a part where of, of my life where I was I was a bit uh, I don't know I, I I guess artists that we get hard on ourselves and uh, we are we're our own worst critics and for long for a long while like a couple of years I would say through my mid twenties it was I was having a rough go just kind of trying to find my like find comfort in my own skin as a songwriter and a performer um, and. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, that that song came at the tail end of that when I was kind of over feeling so down on myself and I needed to kick myself into gear. It's almost like a letter to myself to to like get up and just keep it going. And this is what you love to do, man. Like you better stick with it. The hat came because I've I've worn a, like a trucker hat basically since I was as long as I can remember my whole like since I was a teenager. Um, and it's kind of become part of my identity at this point. And it's kind of become a joke among my friends too, where they, if they don't see, if they see me without a hat on, it's like this really weird experience where it's like, okay, that's uh, that's strange. I've never seen Kyle without a hat. So it's always like, yeah, you got to be in an intimate setting with me to see me without the hat on. Um, but the hat became the metaphor for that song because it's, a, it's a thing that is uh, weirdly, I mean, it's just a piece of fabric on my head, but it's weirdly become this important thing to, to me you know and and the hat was kind of the perfect uh metaphor for for not giving up um and that's you know and the hat could be anything for anybody else yeah, like I, my hope is really when people listen to it maybe uh maybe they're thinking of something else like maybe it's not the hat for them maybe they're some other thing that they love that they they don't want to hang up or give up on you know the, the hat just happened to be my personal thing but it seems that people have been resonating with it a lot too so that's that's been really great well, sometimes I just want to take off my boots And trade them in for some corporate shoes Take off my flannel, buy me a suit Find a real job and become someone new As much as I'd really love to slow down I can't help but keep living fast Oh, I'll hang up the laundry I'll hang down my head But I'll never hang up my hat And so friends, if you love something, do it And don't let your fears drive you mad well, you know that you look better Sometimes I just want to quit singing songs Cause I hate my voice and my songs are too long the Songs are too slow, they put folks asleep I guess no one cares to know what they mean But every time that I try to give up I just end up feeling so lost Well, I might be afraid or I might be ashamed But I'll never stop singing my songs And so, friends, if you love something, do it And don't let your fears hold you back This sounds gonna swallow you whole. Could probably be about 
just about any town in the United States, I would think. Maybe the world, I don't know. Uh, but I, I wrote it specifically with Nashville, Georgia in mind, where I, that's where I moved when I moved from Michigan. I ended up in Nashville, Georgia. Um, and Nashville, Georgia is a really small rural town. There's a, a few fast food joints you can work at or you can work at the boat plant. There's a boat plant there called Chaparral Boats. Um, and and it is, it's a really – it's a great place. Like I, I enjoy it. I was actually just there today. I was visiting dad for a couple of days and stuff. Um, it's, it really is a great place, but it still doesn't take away from the fact that, you know, the, the rural United States has a lot of, a lot of folks go through a lot of really tough times in these kind of places. I mean, a lot of these places were towns that were once booming that maybe the railroad stopped going through or something, something happened and, you know, and it becomes this kind of place where people don't have a, don't have a lot, you know, and, and, and it, and it breeds all sorts of issues uh, with substance abuse and like all kinds of other things like that and so um you know and to no fault of their own too i mean it's it's a tough situation to be in in those places and so that's that's the inspiration where uh that's where the inspiration for this town's gonna swallow your hole came from was uh growing up in that kind of setting and and seeing it all go down in in real time you know well it'll give you love take it away it'll put a needle in your veins this town is gonna swallow you whole well you'll turn the whites of your eyes red you'll be among the living dead this town is gonna swallow you whole well this town's gonna swallow gonna fill your with sorrow this town is gonna swallow well the sun don't shine down through the pines and neither through your foggy eyes this town is gonna swallow you Well, the factory, it moved out of town There's no food to feed your child now This town is gonna swallow you whole Well, this town's gonna swallow Gonna fill your heart with sorrow This town is gonna swallow Church bells ringing loud, oh God must be somewhere else now. This town is gonna swallow you. strong as an oak and not no fault of your own this town is gonna swallow you whole well fire's gonna come gonna burn you down to ashes on the cold hard ground this town's gonna swallow you whole well, this town's gonna swallow, gonna fill your heart with sorrow. This town is gonna swallow you whole. Well, I hear the church bells ringing loud. Oh, God must be somewhere else now. This town is gonna swallow you whole. Well, this town is gonna swallow you. This town is gonna swallow you. This town is gonna swallow you. Where can fans find you on the internet? 
Um, you can find me on Instagram, Kyle Keller Music. Same with Facebook, just Kyle Keller. Um, I have Bandcamp page where I post music there, and and of course, just uh, check me out on any you know any uh, streaming platforms: Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, everything. Uh, Deezer. I don't think anybody uses Deezer, but it's on there. Will Stick was a hiker. He loved to walk, and even more than that. He loved to talk, well he'd tell you of all the places he's been And how he'd love to do it all again Cause there's a whole lot of things we all ought to see And there's a whole lot of crazy people to meet He's walked from sea to shining sea And you could tell by the way that he looked at me When he walked from Detroit to San Antonio, well, he learned how to live on his own. And when he walked from Fresno to South Bend, well, he sure learned how to make some friends. And then he learned that home is just where you make it, with his thumb in the wind, heading down to Macon. And just about any soul's worth saving, keep a steady pace when the whole world's racing. Just keep walking, just keep talking up and down the road. Keep your ears and your eyes open, you'll never grow old. Well, he walked all around the Appalachians and down through Louisiana with the Cajuns, where he learned how to love all walks of life and to not waste time of thinking about time. And then he learned it ain't all about your boots, it's about your will and what you're willing to lose. He's walked through the rain with holes in his shoes, cause sometimes you just gotta pay your dues. Just keep walking, just keep talking up and down the road. Keep your ears and your eyes open, you'll never grow. Then he met this gal down in Tennessee And she taught him all about living free And then he met this fella up in Idaho Taught him how to stay warm in the ice and snow And then he fell in love with a girl in Maine Well, she broke his heart and filled it with pain And then he made friends with a guy in Georgia Said, I know it hurts, but it didn't kill you So just keep walking, just keep talking Up and down the road Keep your ears and your eyes open, you'll never grow old. Well, I can't lie, I was pretty blazed. He was telling me about his younger days, and I realized I'd been living wrong. Oh, I should have been walking all along. He said, Pack your bags, man, I tell you this, cause it ain't too late. See what you're missing If you want to die with no regrets You better do what you love and never look back Just keep walking, just keep talking Up and down the road Keep your ears and your eyes open You'll never grow Just keep walking, just keep talking Up and down the road Keep your ears and your eyes open You'll never grow Keep your ears and your eyes open, you'll never grow.